So I just got a haircut, so I might look a little different in this, in this final video of biology for today. There are five major plant growth hormones, uh, and which are auxin, gibberlin, cytokinin, ethylene, and abscitic acid. Yes, that is a hormone and not an acid, but well, it is an acid, but it's also a hormone. And most of these are responsible for plant growth. Auxin, you may have never heard about it, but you definitely witnessed it. Uh, as you can see right there. When you leave a plant on the window, you probably notice that it grows towards the sun. This is due to the auxin hormone. Auxin has a lot of different jobs, but most importantly, it stimulates plant growth. Auxin is extremely important because if the plant doesn't naturally produce it, it will die. It is generally produced in uh, areas that grow, like the stem. Auxin is transported uh, only in one direction from the bottom to the top, meaning that there is no more oxen on the top and very little close to the bottom. This controls the shape of the plant. Oxen will go to the part of the stem in the shape and cause those cells to grow longer, while the ones closer to the sun will remain the same size. This will cause it to bend towards the sun. Gibberlin is very similar to oxen, but it is, not, it is a very different hormone and it is not that critical. Gibberlin is generally responsible for making uh, stems longer. It promotes stem elongation, which means making cells longer, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, between the nodes. Uh, the node is where the leaf is attached. Gibberlin isn't as critical as oxen, and some plants lack it, and it becomes very apparent, especially in dwarf plants. Cytokinin is the fountain of youth in plants, basically. Uh, they, delay, they delay the natural aging process and make their lifespan longer. I mean, I wish we had those, you know, if we had a little cytokinin, we could live to like 200 years old. The hormone basically encourages cells to divide. Nevertheless, they need oxen to encourage the cell division. And so if the plant is dying because of the lack of oxen, thus then cytokinin will be useless, basically. Ethylene is much more crucial to us consumers than it is to the plant, actually. Without ethylene, there would be no fruits that are fully grown. All of them would be unripe. Ethylene helps fruits ripe, ripen by making them softer, by breaking down components of cell walls and making them a little sweeter by converting starches into sugars. Ethylene is actually a gas and so it's distribu distributed through the air. What Schmoop noted that is really cool is if you put an unripe banana into a bag with a ripe banana, the unripe banana will become softer thanks to the fact that the ethylene will be released into the air from the ripe banana. And finally, abscitic acid. To understand this hormone, you need some knowledge of guard cells, which you can get by watching this video over here. The plant naturally releases some water into the air, and the guard cells control what can and cannot have. If the plant is running really low on water, and needs to keep as much of it as it can inside, then here is where abscitic acid comes in. The hormone will travel to the guard cell and kind of tell it to stop releasing water, that we need as much of it as we can get. This hormone is crucial to plants that live in areas where sometimes there is water and at other times there isn't. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to learn more about biology, click on one of these videos or just hit the subscribe button.